The second quarter of the game between Footscray and Fitzroy at the Western Oval and Fitzroy 4-4-28 leading Footscray 4-2-26. Dempsey once again getting the tap from the Ruck and Featherby relieving of putting the ball down for uh, Footscray going into attack and a free kick going Footscray's way to be taken by Greg Park the centre half forward for Footscray. The whistle sounds again and a 15 metre penalty will be applied here against Fitzroy's Doug Searle for not giving the ball back in a proper manner or for something like that although I thought he did give the ball back properly and Park will be now about 40 to 45 metres out from goal and favoured by what little breeze there is and believe you me it's very very slight. Greg Park will just about be tested to get the distance. The Bulldogs trailing by two points. Park puts Boot the ball struggles to get the distance and in doing so loses any uh, semblance of accuracy and through for one point. The Bulldogs move along to four goals, three, 27 points. Footscray on 4-4, four, four, Fitzroy I should say, 4-4, four, four, 28. Harvey Merrigan going to the outer side with the kick. Nice looking one too, about a 60 metre torpedo punt kick. They fly, Park gets a helping hand out of the pack. In there is Saxe, couldn't pick it up. The ball picked up here and Fitzroy moved forward. Up towards the half forward flank. Smith comes in, he'll be the man in the middle there. Gets his hands to it, but it's been sharked by Quinlan. A left foot kick across the ground. Rasmussen, uh, his judgment's out on that occasion. The ball being pushed along here. It's been pushed along again. And a free kick going out of that passage of play to Greg Park. Sandilands leading the pass by Park out towards Sandilands. Sandilands can't get to it. The pass was ill-directed. The ball in front of him now. He spins around on the left foot, trying to... Forced the ball around into the forward pocket and only managed to force it over the boundary line for a throw-in in Footscray's forward pocket about 50 metres out from their goal. Footscray in this quarter kicking to the northern end of the Western Oval. Been tapped down, taken by Wilson of Fitzroy. A small kick coming back, favouring Greg Park of Footscray, but the ball trickles away from Park and another boundary throw-in will take place. The ball has been moved up now toward the half-forward flank for uh, Footscray. Throw-in to take place in front of the Ted Witten stand. Dempsey gets the front position behind him as Austin. The ball tapped down. The ruck work not all that clean. Being pushed along the ground by Padley. He looks for daylight. Gets a hand pass working. Picked up here and kicked up to where Dell will fly from behind wall. Punches the ball away. Accepted by Abbey. Kicked up towards the open territory at centre half forward. A high bounce. Upsets the players. Tapped down again by Sandilands. Comes down here. Ball just about thrown out here back towards Sandilands. He gets balanced. Puts the ball on its way. It's starting to play back. It's a point of back it up. No, it hasn't. One point only. Barry Round, you can see him there having a couple of words to the umpire, but the goal umpire in good position to judge that one. So one point, the judgment, and both sides locked on 4-4 at the three-minute mark of the second turn. Now, the umpire got right behind that kick, Frankie. He's siding right up the goal post, and uh, there wouldn't be any doubt in his mind as to the outcome of that kick. We'll see Harvey Merrigan. We're looking for someone in his team to take a mark. Fitzroy are falling down in the marking round the ground. There's the kick by Merrigan. Opportunity for Austin. Tried to go the spoil, but the mark has been well taken by Dempsey. He plays on immediately. Drives down towards Sandilands, who flew at the end of their bar square, but a nice mark taken by Merrigan. Well, Trevor Lloyd. Trevor Lloyd, is that, is that far away? Long I can't way even away see. From us. Trevor Lloyd it is. Loading punt kick out towards the half forward flank. The man in front was Austin. The ball was tapped down. Wilson hung on to. Didn't have it. Will take the free kick. Gary Wilson, who's been everything, in everything so far. Not that much of him, but he's certainly got a ton of cheekbones, hasn't he? He goes in everywhere. Good little player, Frank. Very skillful player. Now he went for a hand pass there. That was a much skill attached to the hand pass, but Fitzroy still with a chance to go forward. Kicked off. Oh, it could have been a free kick against Dempsey. Went to kick the ball off the ground, and uh, we see Johnny Murphy diving upon it, picking up the free kick. He drives now up toward the half forward zone wall there. So is Colin Dell. A free kick against David Ball, the mark for the kick to be taken by Dell. Dell of Footscray going back towards centre half forward. They wait for it down there. The ball drifting, Park gets his hands to it. The ball knocked out of his hands at the last moment. As Fitzroy clear, the ball kicked up towards Small on the half forward flank. He can't bring it down. Punched aside here by Quinn and back up towards centre. The pace is on, accepted by Featherby. His kick was intercepted by Miller. Should let O'Keefe go straight through that uh, keep the size to do a bit of shepherding. Miller now trying to get round, finally gets the kick in, hooks it back into play. An opportunity for Wilson on centre wing, and he takes the mark. Judging by umpire Neville Nash, it looked like it might have been a free kick downfield anyhow. Wilson across towards centre half forward. Smith's there. There was a call and leave it by Max McMahon. This in turn allows Appleton to come in. His kick is spotted by Casey. That was good play. And so too was that desperation football as Casey threw the boot at the ball. They give chase down there. Jennings, the man in front, being hotly pursued down there by number 30. Linton, the Fitzroy wingman, and it's over the line and out of bounds. Young Appleton showing Frank that he needs a bit of experience. Yes, he's got pace and dash, but uh, he just doesn't know where to put himself at this stage, Jack. And uh, 
not, doesn't look all that confident. Understandable. There's a confident bit of play. Solidly met too as Fitzroy moved forward. The kick starting to drop short. Searle, who's obviously been taken away from centre half back, dropped that one. No, he's been paid. I was saying Searle uh, shifted from centre half back up to full forward. Oh, he was giving Greg Park too much latitude. He wasn't playing a very good backman's game at all. Park had the uh, a complete run of the forward line, trying to pick up just who has gone to centre half back in place of Doug Searle. But we see Searle now having his first shot for goal. Only about, oh, wouldn't be 20 metres out. Doug Searle was at full forward at one stage of the game, shoots at goal. Yes, all clear for the goal umpire, and Fitzroy now moved their score along to lead Footscray by six points. It's Footscray on four goals for 28 points, and Fitzroy on five goals for 34 points. The story on the board in front of you, and back to the centre bounce for the umpire, Neville Nash. Carter it is who's gone to his centre half back on the park, and uh, tell you what, every, park that, every step that Park takes, Carter's right there with him, so the message from Kevin Rose is pretty obvious. And they come. Dempsey getting the run in, taps the ball down, taken here by Welsh, couldn't get boot the ball, being picked up here by Appleton, kicked up towards the centre half forward position where they wait for the ball to drop. Oh, and a well judged mark to McMahon. A little bit of treatment there from uh, Saxe, but uh, McMahon not upset, having a good look around, looking for the man running past, but it's not on. So McMahon from only 40 metres out to the side to have his shot. It's balanced, a little tug at the socks. Goal now would be very handy to Fitzroy, who already lead by one goal. Don't make it. Starting to drop short. A bit of a nudge in the back there by Searle. Goes unnoticed by the umpire. Come on, home on to. That one went unnoticed too. He's swimming the ground. That one went unplayed too. So Fitzroy fans not too happy about that as the ball is cleared by Abby. Out towards half forward flank. Fitzroy's half forward flank it is. And the ball over the line. Pushed over by the two 11s. 11 for Fitzroy being OK. And 11 for Fitzroy being Rasmussen. Half forward flank. They're about 80 metres out from Fitzroy's goal. This time it's round. The ball tapped down here. Gallagher tries to get it. He's under close attention. Gets a helping hand from Aberdeen. And gets a bit of solid treatment. It's too high, according to uh, the umpire and the penalty against Smith. And uh, I don't know. I thought that was a side bump. So did I, Frank. But uh, he must be squaring up for the ones he didn't give to Quinlan. There's the kick by Gallagher down toward the centre half board position. Players fly high. No mark taken. Austin got the hand pass working. Wasn't a clean one. A pack of players for, uh, forming up. And umpire Nash has now decided it will be Footscray's free kick. And the kick will be taken by Ian Lowe. He's kicking down, looking for Sandlins or anyone. Barry Rounds will come out to make contact. Can't take the mark. O'Keefe with the opportunity. The ball in front of him. Uh, Keith picks up, goes to the outer side with a well-placed kick. An opportunity now existing for uh, Fitz, uh, Fitzroy to come forward as Linton is taking his time on the half-back flank, not knowing exactly what to do with the ball. Very funny-looking kick toward Irwin. No, no player can take it to Welsh. Picks up hand pass to bad one. Fitzroy coming forward now. Searle leads out. In front is Merrington, and uh, no, he couldn't take the mark. Picked up and kicked by David Wall. The left foot shot a goal offline. A boundary throw and will take place in Fitzroy's forward pocket. Would only be about 25 metres out from Fitzroy's goal. Fitzroy leading by six points. And they come. Ball tapped down, being socketed along the ground and out of bounds adjacent to the behind post. Fitzroy with a golden opportunity to the score. Ruck work about to begin as Dempsey gets front position, tapped it down. Searle waits for the ball to be thrown out to him, but it's been taken away by Gallagher. A right foot kick towards Appleton, and Appleton secures what we would say would be the outer forward pocket area, about 35, 40 metres out from goal. Not an easy shot, though, Frank, from Appleton. Away he goes. The ball starting to drop short. Dempsey's in there, could use his height to punch the ball away, which he does. Drops into the open land. In comes Irwin. Irwin has a quick look. The kick was smothered. That was good football by Dell. Picked up here. A hand pass with the cross. And uh, it's Fitzroy going forward. A short one down there by Murphy. Is a fat mark by Wilson. Wilson. 40 metres out in the forward pocket. Not an easy shot. He'd be only about 5 metres in from the boundary line. Coming in now. Goes for the torpedo punch kick, not a good kick, starts to drop short. Good defensive football by Gary Dempsey, and the ball is over the line and out of bounds. Well, Fitzroy is still with the opportunity to score, Frank, but the Rovers can't get the ball and can't get a clean shot at goal within range. Ruckwork takes over now, Smith got the tap down, picked up by Searle, stepped at goal, and all clear, I'd say, is Doug Searle. That move that they made by coach Kevin Rose of the Fitzroy side has certainly paid off. We see two goals kicked by Doug Searle. In the, within the first 10 minutes of the second quarter, so being taken away from the half-back position, where he was giving too much latitude to uh, Greg Park, and now we see Searle bobbing up with two goals. 
And a smart bit of ruck work by Chris Smith too, Jack. A beautifully palmed out from the, the throw-in. And Smith, who at this stage is at centre-half forward, has done a creditable job so far for the Fitzroy team. Two goals in it, Fitzroy leading. Ten minutes into the second term. Away they go again. Tapped down here, being picked up, and onto the left foot goes Hubbard. Drives it out towards the half forward flank, but Fitzgray playing blindly on this occasion. A keeper not really going in to meet the ball and could pay the penalty. He does. He loses it as it's taken by Power. Power sights his teammate in the forward pocket, and uh, umpire looking at it closely. Sandilands indicated he was going to play on, but now allowed to take his kick. Torpedo punt kick. Not a bad one either. Starting to work its way down. Into the square it goes, bounces, and through for one point. Point to Footscray takes them on to 4-5-29 Fitzroy on 6-4-40 Though the scores have been close Frank, the football hasn't been of such a high standard to my mind anyhow There's a kick starting to drop short once again, the breeze starting to get perhaps a little bit fresher, could have been a holding the man decision there, Murphy coming in looking for the free kick, gets the hand pass working not all that effective bit of pushing and shoving going on there untidy football the football the jacket was just spoke about sandy lens with an opportunity coming in but he's over the line and out of bounds so we'll see a throw in some 40 meters away from footscray's goal well dempsey's there to direct the ruck work for footscray austin there for fitzroy the tap down came from austin to the back of the pack and fitzroy breaking away now a kick up toward the center wing position on the outer side smith coming or going across but it was he's going to wait on miller miller can't get to it before the boundary line comes up and a throw in taking place in a position which is halfway between the centre wing and the Fitzroy half forward zone. It's on the outer side with Fitzroy in the second quarter kicking to the Geelong Road end of the oval. Been tapped down from the pack, a hurried kick coming out of the pack will be called play on. Punched up toward the half forward zone for Footscray. Players going in to meet it are Irwin for Fitzroy. He picks up cleanly, dodges around two opponents, brings back to his right foot, the kicking foot, and drives up toward McMahon, McMahon on the half forward zone. And McMahon does the rest and takes the mark for Fitzroy after a lot of uh, pressure there from Saxe. Tried to break away, was well caught by Saxe. Picks up now the kick going into the forward pocket. Wilson looking for the bounce, it won't favour him. Merrington's there for Footscray and another throw and will take place, this time only 30 metres away from the Fitzroy goal. Chance for Fitzroy. Forward line reasonably open at this stage. It's the Ruckman coming to do battle. On for the front position, the punch out was by Peter Welsh. The ball comes back towards the pack, Welsh secures. Gets onto the left foot, gets right back on now onto the right foot. Awkward style, but gets booted the ball. And a few ironical cheers as he drives it up towards the centre. In there is Jeff uh, Austin, or Austin at least, but it's a free kick and will be taken by Carter. Carter from the centre of the Footscray ground. Kicks it high, Welsh goes to spoil, but he's too far back. And an easy mark taken by David Wall. David Wall in the first quarter, kicked three goals, going for a short pass on this occasion. Easy mark taken by Casey. Why he went, he didn't go for the long kick, I'll never know. But just uh, trying to work out who he was trying to get it to. I think he's looking for Searle, but Casey chipped in and took the ball away for Footscray. He kicks now back toward the out of uh, half forward flank for them, but uh, the mark has been well taken. The short pass is on toward Wall once again. He chips in. Murphy was there, but this time I think that David Wall will go back and take the long kick. No, he's gone for a while. It's a funny looking kick. It's fairly long. Opportunity existing there for Smith, can't take the mark. Play on the court, taken by Irwin, shot at goal, and a right across the face, out of bounds resulted. Oh, good play by Irwin, but no score. Scores stay as they are, 11 points of difference, Fitzroy leading. Still a chance for Fitzroy. Some smart ruck work could see a score here. Smith gets up, taps it down, comes back to him, comes back to him again. The ball picked up and kicked high by Appleton. Not a bad attempt, but he's hooked it too much, and a point is a result. Fitzroy on top at this stage as they go to 6-5 as against Footscray's 4-5 two goals in it just on 14 minutes into the second term waiting for the ball to come back and uh, Footscray Jack not looking all that good at the moment they were a little bit sluggish for the first half of the first quarter then they picked themselves up and played some much improved football but they seem to have gone back into their shell once again well, they were getting a lot of drive from Park in the first quarter Frank when they did look good there's the kick from Harvey uh, from uh, Gary Merrington We've got a Merrington and American playing today, and both playing at full back. Kicked on there by Featherby, down towards the half-forward zone. Park there, beaten to the ball by Carter. Play on is called as Huppert's got a funny hand pass back to Park. Hand, the kick comes out toward the half-forward zone. Taken by Adrian Gunninger, spinning round on the left foot. Kicks back toward the uh, half-forward zone, and a mark taken by Laurie Sandlins, who was completely unattended by Harvey Merrigan. Laurie Sandlins makes hard work of those overhead marks, though, doesn't he, Jack? Oh, well, I'm pleased he turned over, Frank. I could see his number there <laughs> because he's that far away. I wasn't just too sure just who it is. Well, not only the, the supply a lot far away down the Footscray's end, but we're also working off, what is it, Jack? A six-inch monitor, yeah. I suppose. But anyhow, it's... Six-inch, it's about right, too. 
Footscray skipper. Laurie Sandlin lining the ball up. Looks pretty good to me. That's gone right through the middle. So a badly needed goal to the Footscray side. Kicked by Sandlin. That gives him three. And it gives Footscray 5-5. Five, five, 35 points. Now only one kick behind Fitzroy's tally of 6-5, 41. Once again, I must say that uh, even though the scores are still very close, only one kick in it, the football hasn't been what you would call scintillating. It, uh, not much noise coming from the crowd at all. I think may, they're mainly doing is rubbish in the umpire, but he's doing a fairly good job. Neither side can get a flow on, Jack, can this they? Four conditions. Start. That's right. Yeah, I can't recall you know, seeing conditions like this and seeing so many packs developing. Still, they, may, they may do something about it as the game unfolds. Tapped down by round, tapped it once again, but Fitzroy bringing the ball away from the centre. A hurried kick coming out towards centre wing. And Stevie Power said, I'm going with a left foot kick down toward the half-forward zone, looking for Sandilands. This time Merrigan's there, but Sandilands takes the mark. He's going to play on straight away. He's looking for a teammate. He's kicking right across the... Uh, an actual face of goal, an easy one dropped there by Austin, picked up by Park. His kick is ill-directed and won't even score. No, I missed the, missed the scoring area by about five metres. So we'll th see a throw in in that position. 29 of Fitzroy as Wilson moving into position to do the roving. Miller's down there behind the pack, but it's taken by Dempsey. A hand pass was shot out towards Hubbard. Dempsey went back into the pack again, using a fair bit of weight. The ball picked up here, and Fitzroy now threw Robertson clear up towards half-back flank. The ball dropping short, and a mark is taken by Jennings. Jennings, he... Puts Gray half forward flank and gets onto the right foot. A nice, neat looking kick up to within about 30 metres of goal. Carter stretches, could have uh, just about been paid, but didn't hang on to it long enough. Picked up here by Lloyd, a left foot kick out towards a half back flank position. Featherby intercepts from Footscray, lines up the goals from about 50 metres out, but finds Dempsey oh, in the ball dropped. pocket. The ball dropped, and uh, a bit of a misunderstanding between Fitzroy there, and uh, Lloyd goes down too, and he'll get the free kick to tackle no, too high. Going the other way. Well, it must have been something be, uh, before that because uh, Lloyd got a whack on the side of the head. So, a free kick. Fitzgrace way, the short pass is on here. Up they go, and the mark taken by Greg Park. Well, you only have to go to sleep, uh, or go to sleep for a fraction of a second, and Park certainly can create the loose man. He's only 25 metres out from goal, about 10 metres in from the boundary line. Already kicked one goal. A goal from Greg Park would tie the scores. In he comes now. Kicks accurately too, that's four points kicked by Greg Park. So we'll see Park for his second goal at 18 minutes into the second term. It's Footscray and Fitzroy both on six goals, five, 41 points. Well, it appears at this stage, Frank, that Park will be a thorn in the side of uh, Fitzroy. Now Carter's not doing a bad job on him, not giving him that much latitude, but uh, Park broke away just for that split second, as you called, and he was found, the, found the ball and found the goals to tie the scores on 41 points each as we approach the 18 minute mark of the second quarter. Well, with Dempsey going well and Park playing well and Sandlin's playing well, well, Footscray are really have, have a real good chance to win this. Taken by Featherby, a high kick floats out toward the half-forward zone on the outer side. No player takes the mark, could have been a free kick against Huppets, it was, and Patley will take the free kick for Fitzroy. On the outer side, half-back flank position, the kick by Patley floats up toward the half, or wing position, and Quinlan over the top has been paid the mark. Quinlan right on the centre line, about halfway between centre and centre wing. We told you that both teams are on 41 points. It's Bernie Quinlan uses the drop kick and it's a beauty too. Up the